Rumors are swirling on Rocky Top tonight as Tennessee inches closer to finding a head coach. Reports tonight say three men have had second interviews this week about the open job. John Maywell starts our team coverage tonight with a closer look at those three candidates. John. Well, Josh and Kim, ESPN reports these three men right here have met with new athletic director Philip Fulmer. Now, Georgia defensive coordinator Mel Tucker and Auburn defensive coordinator Kevin Steele met with Fulmer again earlier this week. And Alabama defensive coordinator Jeremy Pruitt was scheduled to meet with him today. Now, Tucker is in his second season with Georgia and previously worked at Alabama in 2015. He helped them win a national title. Now, Steele has been Auburn's defensive coordinator for the past two seasons, while Pruitt is in his second stint at Alabama and has been part of four national championship teams. Now, Fulmer needs to make a decision soon because early signing day for recruits starts December 20th. Josh. John, thank you, sir. Fans across the state are hoping whomever ends up getting this job will restore the tradition there on Rocky Top. Alana LaFleur joins us now live from Knoxville to tell us what Vol Nation wants to see in their next head coach. Alana. Josh Kim behind me is a Neyland Stadium all lit up and the talk around campus here and in downtown Knoxville is which coach will take to the field next season and bring Tennessee football back in the right direction. Now we talk to fans and even a current player who say they think they know what they need in the next coach. Joey Cave just finished studying for a big calculus final. He probably wears number 96 on his backpack. He's on UT's offensive line, and along with his grades, he's thinking about who will lead his team next season. We know the right coach will come. We're just waiting patiently for it. Several reports, including one from ESPN, say athletic director Philip Fulmer met with three top candidates, Mel Chucker, Kevin Steele, and Jeremy Pruitt. They're all current defensive coordinators in the SEC. Good defense coordinators, at least I know for Steele and Pruitt and that's what you need in this league. So if you can play good defense and crafty offense, and that's how you win ball games here. As Cave and his teammates focus on off-season training, Vols fans like Davis Porcari swallow their pride when it comes to some of the head coach contenders. Can't stand the word Alabama, but they have a, a very good program, and you can't deny that. So if you're talking about Pruitt, maybe that's the direction we should go if we only have those three options. Porcari says he'd rather have seen someone with more of a reputation. We've learned a lesson with Butch. He was more of a low profile one and wanted to build our program. Um, he did as much as he could, and then you saw how that ended. But other fans are pretty happy with Fulmer's shortlist. I like them all, especially Kevin Steele. Kevin Steele played football here, and uh, I've heard from different players that played with him that said that he is nothing but solid football. Kevin Steele played for Tennessee in the late 70s. Bright says a defensive coordinator turned head coach could be just the thing Tennessee needs. He's just tired of waiting for an announcement. I'm anxious, but uh, like I said, I feel like whatever Phil Fulmer does, that's that's the right way to go. I've got all my trust and faith right there with uh, football and Phil Fulmer. Well, you heard that faith, Fulmer, and football, and faith, and a lot of patience seems to be what's getting fans through as they wait for a decision. Reporting live in Knoxville, Alana LaFleur, News Channel 9. Alana, thank you. And, of course, you can depend on us to watch the search very closely and update you as soon as we learn more. And as temperatures drop, kids in our 